All right, guys, it's an exciting day for me around here. A while ago, you guys may have seen I caught my silver coop on fire. Well, a lot of hard work, she's all back together. I've had it running a little bit, haven't driven it. This is gonna be the first drive out of the garage. So here we go. Guys, the old girl almost looks like a barn find. She's so dirty, but there it is. So I'm gonna get you guys set up on the windshield. We're just gonna take it for a drive. Hopefully it don't break down. So it's really low on gas. I'm gonna take it to the nearest gas station, put some gas in it and hope for the best. it guys and I'm not quite used to it yet it feels quite a bit different than the old clutch all right I'll leave you guys here for a minute I'm just gonna go get changed all right guys here we go okay guys so we got kind of a lot of stuff going on here if you were following along you saw that this car got burnt and you know that I replaced wiring harness a whole bunch of sensors did some wiring um, I was tired of all the problems so it's got a new clutch I found out that the transmission case was cracked so I put the transmission we got out of the SN95 from the U-pull in here we'll grab it anyway I paid 165 bucks for it. I don't know how it works. So what you're seeing right now is my first drive with it. So I put new tie rods in, new power steering rack. Just trying to eliminate all these problems. New power steering lines. Liking this oil pressure, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're above 60 at 1500 RPM. That's great. Nice for a change. Well, I hope this transmission works, guys. I really don't know. No BS here, this is the real first drive. I haven't even set the timing yet, guys. Something I still have to do. This new power steering rack feels pretty good, though. I cleaned the windows. I know last time I took you guys for a drive, the windows were filthy. We are getting pretty low on fuel here. I ran it out of fuel in the garage while I was running the engine, and so I just dumped what I had in the gas can in here, and we don't have a whole lot. So the only gear we haven't tried is overdrive yet, so man, I'm hoping overdrive works. Got a thumbs up from a lady walking down the road, that's pretty cool. Okay, 
fourth, guys. I don't know what fifth is going to do. Wow. So far, this transmission feels amazing. This is one of the best T5s I've had in a long time. Hope I'm not counting my tickets before they have. So far, we're pretty good. I love that B-cam sound, guys. Makes me feel like a teenager again. That's why I love these old Fox bodies. It transports me back in time. Back when I had no responsibilities or anything. bad for a hundred and actually I think it's hundred and sixty three dollars and change for this T5. Pretty happy with that. My buddy Doug helped me pull it we were talking about it and I think the key to uh, that we, we were kind of hoping this transmission was good thinking it might be because that car had zero modifications done to it. It didn't have pedal covers it didn't have a steering wheel cover, it didn't have stickers on it, the exhaust wasn't changed, it didn't have uh, different wheels on it, uh, the stock radio was still in place. Somebody wasn't hot rodding that car, they just drove it till underneath and the car rotted out by looking at it. Wow, this is the best T5 I've had in a long time. I can't believe it. I am pumped, guys. I am so pumped. Woohoo! This car has never felt better. And that B cam is just chopping. The whole car is actually rocking a little bit. Oh yeah, this is how a Fox Body Mustang should be. 